Okay, good morning, good afternoon. Not sure what time you're watching this, but here are your notes for today. Don't forget to turn them on Delta Classroom. Turn them in on Delta Classroom by 2.30. And Sorry about that. So that you can mark for attendance and you can get a grade for the day. All right, I'll be posting on Google Classroom the formula sheets that you need to be working on your formulas, writing them down somewhere between now and Thanksgiving so we can have them all written over and over and over again so that you remember those formulas. Alrighty, so here we go. We spoke about reflections today. I went through how to re read the reflection rules. So I wanted to give you the notes for them. Reflection is a mirrored version of an object. The image does not change size. It is rigid. The figure reverses itself. That reverses is why all the signs change, okay? The mirror line is called the line of symmetry. And the line of symmetry is very important for graphing certain types of reflections. The image is a flip of the pre-image. Just like a butterfly, we have a line of symmetry. And then we have the right side. And then the left side is a flip of the right side. Okay? Should be exact. My butterfly is not exact. Reflections may occur in any line of reflection, but we're going to concentrate on the x-axis, the y-axis, y equals x, and then y equals negative x. Recall, the x-axis is horizontal, so the y does the changing. We're going to talk about the y-axis, which is vertical, so the x's do the changing. Then we talked about y equals x was a diagonal in the positive direction. And then y equals negative x was a diagonal in the negative direction. When we go to flip or reverse over them, we're jumping from one side to the other. So that's why the y changes. We're going from the left to the right. That's why the X change. We're going from the Y, the Y, the Y down to the X side, and then up from the X to the Y. All right, so when we go to write these, it is the original, this is red maps onto and across the X, the Y does the changing. Across the Y, maps onto, the X does the changing. Y equals X. Y equals X. It just flips it around. Y equals negative X maps onto, you're going to flip it around, and because it's y equals negative x, both signs change. Every time you go to do your homework, write the formula. You will memorize them, and you'll understand how to use them. First, we flip or move the x and y, then we come back and change the signs. Okay. So we're going to flip this over, reflect it over the y-axis. So again, the y-axis is vertical. So when we go, we're going to change our x's from the left to the right because we're jumping over the yellow line. So c is located at 1, 3, 1, 3. That is c. And D is located at 5, 2. 
five and two. And so we have this segment and we're going to flip it over the Y axis. So the Y axis across the Y, we change the X. Across the Y, we change the X. So we're going to take C, which original is 1, 3, and we're going to map it onto 1, 3, and change the sign. Negative 1, 3. C prime. D is located at 5, 2. Maps on to, we keep them in the same order, 5 and 2. And what does the changing? The X. So it's negative 5, 2. Negative 5 and 2. And when we connect it, we see that there are a flip over that axis. Then it says we're going to then reflect it again. We're not reflecting it just once, but we're going to reflect it twice. This time, we're going to take our new coordinates and flip it over y equals x. And recall, y equals x is a flip across a diagonal that goes positive through the origin. So now we're going to take C prime D prime and we're going to flip it over this axis and we're going to come down the other side. And I'm going to use uh, a skinny little line to show you that we're going to go from here and flip it over to this side. All right. So what is the rule? The rule is y x maps onto y equals x is going to actually equal y x. y equals x is going to equal y equals x. So we start with the new prime, which was negative 1, 3, which was C prime, and we're going to switch the order. So we get 3, negative 1, and that's going to be C double prime. So 3, negative 1 is down here, and that's going to be C double prime. And then we're going to take D prime, and D prime is negative 5, 2, and the rule says y, x, so we're going to take y and x, and we're going to graph that as d double prime, 2, negative 5. Now you can see that this line truly is a reflection across the green axis of symmetry. This is the line y equals x, and this is the y axis. So we've done two flips. First we did it, c, d in red, to d prime, c prime in green. Then we took D prime, C prime, and flipped it over the green axis, which is Y equals X. And we end up with the new coordinates for C double prime and D double prime. All right, moving right along. Suppose the segment with endpoints A, negative 10, negative 5, and B, negative 4, 2, is reflected over the Y equals negative x. Okay, recall 
that y equals negative x was a negative diagonal. So we're going to be coming through negative diagonal. Oh, let me make it a little bit nicer. Uh, let me go with a highlighter first and say that it's going to come through here. All right. So that's going to be my axis. And we're going to take A prime or A, which A is negative 10 and negative 5. And we're going to follow the rule. The rule was the original pre-image XY. And because Y equals negative X, it's going to switch around YX but we're going to change both signs. So across y equals any x, we switch them. But because it is negative, we're going to also change the signs. So a equals 10, negative 10, 5 is going to map onto, first we're going to switch them. Then we're going to change the signs. So instead of being negative 10, negative 5, we're going to switch it to 5, 10. 5 and 10. And let me change colors so it's a little bit easier to see. And that would be A prime. Now B, B is located at negative four, two, and it's going to go mapping on to, first we're going to switch the orders of the letters to negative four, and because of the rule, both these signs change. So this is negative 2, and that would be positive 4. So that would be my B prime. So B prime is negative 2 and up 4. This becomes B prime. And when we put those together, you can see the reflection over y equals negative x. Now, something I want to point out to you is because the line of symmetry is down the middle, the distance from a to a prime should be the same on both sides from the axis of symmetry to the a, from the axis of symmetry to the a prime. Because the axis of symmetry is down the middle, the distance from B to the axis of symmetry should be the same from B on the other side. Those distances are preserved. So I'm going to go back and say one more time, the distance from A to the line of symmetry is going to be the same distance from A prime to the line of symmetry. And the distance from B to the line of symmetry is going to be the same as the distance from B prime to the line of symmetry. And we found out that B prime was negative two, positive four. Suppose a line segment whose endpoints are G at 8, 2, G at 8, 2, and H at 4, negative 8 is reflected over Y equals X. What are the coordinates of G prime and H prime? Again, recall Y equals X. We're going to switch the X and the Y and make it Y equals X. So the rule is x, y maps onto, and we simply flip it around, y, x. 
So G double prime or G prime is going to be eight two is going to map on to two eight and that becomes G prime. So let's graph both of them. First off, we said Y equals X is the diagonal that goes through the origin positive manner. My original point for G was 8, 2. So 8, 2 was G. So we should be jumping over this line of symmetry up here. We're switching the X for the Y and the Y for the X. And as you see, it becomes 2, 8 over 2 and up 8. And we're right where we expect it to be. And then we're going to do the next coordinate. And that next coordinate was H. So let's use, you know, I never use pink. Let's use pink. Um, H is located at, or uh, I started over here. H is located at 4, negative 8. So we're going to map it on to, remember to write your rules. XY is going to become YX, and we're simply flipping it around, negative 8 and 4, and that becomes your H prime, all right? So the original was 4, negative 8, so 4, negative 8 is here. That was H, and again, we know that it's going to flip to the other side, and we're looking at it to be negative 8, 4. So we're going to come over 8 and up 1, 2, 3, 4. That becomes H prime. And then we can see this segment and this segment have been flipped over the line of symmetry. And I want you to be thinking, draw in those axis of symmetries, use your highlighters, put them in, and you should see that you're jumping over that line, just like jumping over a rope on the rat ground. If my rope is here, if my rope, If my rope is here, I need to be jumping over it. And that's where this jumping over comes in place. The next one says, what about X equals two? And this is where that line of symmetry is gonna become really, really important, okay? Um, what about X equals two? Well, let's pull some graph paper up, okay? Let's say X equals two. Don't forget X, if you karate chop X axis, you actually get a vertical line. So this line is not a horizontal line, it's X equals two and X equals two here. So we're going to take those same coordinates of G and H, and now instead of going across the diagonal, we're going to go across X equals 2. So let's go back to that problem real quick. And those coordinates of the original were G was 8, 2, and H was 4, negative 8. Okay, so we have 8, 2, and or negative eight. So we have G was eight, two, and H was four, negative eight. So let's plot G and let's plot H. G is at eight, two. So we're at eight, two, six, seven, eight, about here and up to so that was G, and 4 is at 4, negative 8, 
So we're at 4 and down negative 8. And that would be H. So here's my line of symmetry. So I want you to remember you're jumping over the line of symmetry. So H should be jumping over here somewhere. And G should be jumping over here somewhere. So y equals negative 2. This is where the distance between the point and this axis becomes really important. So if we count the distance from g to the line of symmetry, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Because don't forget this was over eight and up two. So we're going over six. So to go on the other side of it, we have to jump six. One, two, three, four, five, six, which puts me here. Remember, we're chopping the y axis, so the x's are doing the changes. All we had to do was take eight, change the eight, and go to the other side. But because we're shifted over two, our answers are going to be shifted over two. So instead of negative eight two, we end up at four negative two. So we use the fact that the distance here and here is both six. So because we're shifted over two, we had to add two, and we ended up with negative six two. And that's where we end up at. Actually, we had to add two on both sides, so we're adding four, which makes it four, two. Sorry about that. Let's look at the H. We're two units away, so we're going to go two units on the other side. And H prime is going to be over here. Again, two on one side, two on the other. So what we're going to actually do is move over. So we're at zero, negative eight, and we're over here. Now, don't worry about adding and subtracting from your points. What I want you to do is literally look at just what the distance is when we're doing anything that is being moved across the line of symmetry. Let's look at y equals negative 2. y equals negative 2. When we chop the y at negative 2, it is a horizontal line. And let's say we have a point that is at b is now negative 5, 3. We're going to graph negative 5, 3. Over 5, up 3, 1, 2, 3. Now, because of my line of symmetry being here, we're going to jump across it down here. And this is where we count the distance. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 jumps to the line of symmetry. So we're going to jump down here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So my B prime is going to be down here at negative 5, negative 7. Because we're going across that horizontal and we're jumping this way, the X's don't change, the Y's change. And look at our Y. Our Y was 3 here, and our Y is negative 7 here. One's positive, one's negative. They're both over negative 5 because we're not changing from left to right. And the distance here was 5 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units. 
and then five units here. Five plus two gave me the negative seven, and five minus two gave me the three. That's it. Good luck on your homework.